Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, presentation of All Water Signs for April 2022, um, channel guidance, Archangel Michael's interpretation of what I'm calling angelic horoscopes. And I do hope you find them entertaining, useful to you. As these are general, of course, please take what resonates with you. So let's begin. These are the all water signs rather than one at a time. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces for April. I'd like to begin with Cancer. All right, so the Archangel shared with me, he began, those souls of this sign have an unusual opportunity this month to achieve levels of success which may have eluded them previously. This is a result of a combination of cosmic factors, which do also include the energy of solar flares. Much has been stated elsewhere about solar flares, and most of the time flares can cause sleepless nights, exhaustion, and other emotional upheavals. But when solar flares are combined with the energies of very favorable influences from Saturn, they can be immensely helpful in a soul's life. Therefore, it is my expectation that many of this sign will thrive and find that the month of April to be a very productive and exciting one. Exciting new opportunities are most likely to be evidenced in the second part of this month and very well may follow you into the months ahead. Michael continued, Another energy influence this month lies in your house of inner knowledge and the unseen or unconscious. These influences may be subtle, but it would also be a fabulous time to record your dreams. Many colorful and memorable positive dreams should be a result. Inner knowledge? What does this conjure up to you, dear ones? Inner knowledge. To be more specific with you, I feel as though the cosmic energies this month will retrace some of the most favorable, impressionable events in your life for encoding them into your DNA. Yes, favorable memories, highlights of one's life can be encoded or double encoded as well as negative experiences can be. Thankfully, the cosmos rarely aligns for the negative encoding to occur. Your theme for this month is journey. Your most positive days of the month, which can also be seen as just numbers, the archangel said, almost any after the second. Your most influential colors this month are peach, teal, rose, and silver, should you wish to make use of them. Affirmations, Michael suggests, for the, for the month of April for you are, I am aware of my power. I am open to receiving all good. I am grateful for this moment in time. Next. I'd like to share with everyone Scorpio. For those born under the sign of Scorpio, this is Michael's general interpretation for you. Welcome souls to our brief time together. I am so blessed by you. This month should prevail many blessings of good cheer as it unfolds. Beginning on the first of the month and extending through a large portion of it. Speaking of blessings, dear ones, have you considered lately the blessings in your lives? If not, rejoice in this idea of reflecting upon one's blessings. To do so not only strengthens your heart center, it also strengthens your mind. It also therefore raises your vibration and is also contagious. When you reflect upon your blessings, they also tend to grow. One universal aspect is where attention flows, energy goes. This is still a relevant concept in your world today and one which is unlikely to change. 
If you are already regularly reminded to give grace to your blessings, continuing to do so will surely bring more of it to you. It matters not if you give grace in one's home, in a place of worship, or out of doors. Doing so is simply good for one's heart. Did you know that there is a direct link to the health of the human heart and one's happiness? This is so. Think of your heart health itself, also benefiting from regular recognition of the wonderful events, people, and influences in your lives. Next, some of you will be called to service this month as an extension of your excitement. Some of you will take your excitement and gratitude into the art field and find yourselves creating, creating, and creating. This too will uplift your collective souls. Creation welcomes creating. If by chance you do have a challenging few days this month, consider creating something and get lost in the process itself, not necessarily or particularly in the end result. Romance is also figured highly this month as set into motion by lunar aspects from Mars and Pluto. Some of you may find yourselves more sentimental as a result. Embrace these feelings if you do. Your theme for this month, Scorpio, is transformation. The most positive days of the month the Archangel shared will be the 9th, the 17th, the 22nd, 28th, and 30th. Your most influential power colors this month are white, baby blue, and azure. Michael said affirmations for this month to support you may be, I am blessed in many ways, and I intend to share my blessings with others. Finally, I'd like to share with Pisces, those born under the sign of Pisces, your brief general angelic horoscope. All right, so let us begin. The archangel began by saying, music, music, music is a prevalent aspect this month. Whatever type that moves you of this sign, so is dance, whatever style that is for you. If you typically do not immerse yourself in music or dance, this month would be a fabulous month to do so. Physical movement of all types should provide many of this sign with the release of any pent-up energies which may have invaded your life. Therefore, seek out new avenues to have these beneficial influences in your life. You can thank Neptune's unusual place in the heavens for this unusual influence. If you find yourself losing your temper or being a bit hasty in decisions this month, turn these emotions over to Mother Earth. She will take them from you and purge them. If you do not have a ceremony with Mother Earth, this would be a great time to create one or two or three. Even without ceremony, Releasing burdens to her will allow for greater peace of mind overall. Simply stating, Mother Earth, will you please take my burdens from me and transmute them? This, of course, is more suitably done outside in her warm embrace. However, if this is not possible, use your powerful creative minds and intention and use your voice to do so as well. Part of this month may present some of you with the feeling of humbleness, being humble about something. You will know clearly if this is affecting you, a humbling experience. A humbling lesson or lessons most likely will occur after the 19th of the month. It may be a time to simplify some things in your life, and I see many of you doing so. You may think of it as spring cleaning as some elements are similar. But some of you will choose to downsize your living quarters, 
or release your attachments to physical items while these unseen energies are swirling around. Cleansing is as natural as breathing, and when either is taken for granted or ignored, disease or ill ease can take hold. Your theme for this month is movement. Your most positive days of the month will be the 8th, 12th, 17th, and 24th. Are those numbers, the vibration of those numbers can be influential. Your most influential colors, the Archangel said, are, for this month, are beige, blue, pale orange, and vibrant green, should you wish to make use of them. And finally, supporting affirmations for the month of April. I am humbled by Mother Earth. I will do my best to honor Mother Earth. And I'm sure many of you prov- probably have many others that you use in your lives. Thank you very much, and I appreciate your time. Many blessings to you.